hey kids, now that James Charles has come out with his side of the story, do you have any words of wisdom for him? What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take a look at the YouTube community, all of this drama going on and take this mess and turn it into a message because what good is watching all of this insanity go on if we're not taking lessons from it to improve our own lives? So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So I was on Twitter yesterday and I mentioned this in my last video. Um, and I talked about how it's crazy watching these subscriber numbers go back and forth, right? Tati Westbrook releases her video. James Charles starts losing millions of subscribers. She starts gaining millions of subscribers, right? James Charles comes out with his video. Now all of a sudden, Tati Westbrook is losing subscribers. Jeffree Star is losing subscribers. And James Charles is gaining subscribers. And it's nuts. So my girl, Ollie, she was like, yeah, like it's it, it shows how loyal people are. And I'm like, shout out to you, Ollie. That is a great 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 topic especially because ollie ollie is a ride or die rewired soldier and i appreciate ollie as well as many of you out there who stuck with me through my whole controversy and everything like that like reading your comments and all of you who are like yeah i stuck around and like i didn't you know agree with what they were doing to you and just you waited until you heard my full side of the story i appreciate all of you so 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 much but yeah so in this video, we're gonna be talking about a lot of things. We're gonna be talking about groupthink, we're gonna be talking about black and white thinking, we're gonna be talking about loyalty, okay? Like, looking at these subscriber counts, it's absolutely mind-blowing. Like, be an ind independent thinker. Like, for the love of God, be an independent thinker. Like, when I see these numbers just going back and forth, right? Like, I just imagine these, like, mindless zombies just like, oh, Oh, well, Tati said James did this, and then Jeffree Star tweeted, so I'm going over here. And, oh, well, James Charles said this, so now I'm gonna come back over here. Like, be an independent thinker, okay? Like, just because somebody comes out with an exposed video or whatever, like, I don't know if you guys have ever just had friends like this or whatever, like, people are fickle, people are emotional, people get hurt in insane ways, right? Like, something I was talking about with someone yesterday is, like, Tati Westbrook, her emotions got the best of her. Like, I don't think Tati Westbrook is this horrible, awful, terrible person. In fact, I don't think anybody involved is, like, a horrible person. I think they are messing up on a massive scale. But Tati Westbrook is a, a great example about how your perception is not always reality. Okay, and that can perpetuate a false narrative in your own head and it's dangerous for us YouTubers or anybody with a platform to, to publicly say these things when our perception is not reality. Like something that James Charles proved with facts was a couple things. He has promoted Tati Westbrook's products in the past, and he did try to reach out to her before he made his Sugar Bear hair post, all right? but. One of the issues that we struggle with, especially when it comes to black and white thinking, is our brain has a problem separating the truth from the false. So Tati Westbrook, not knowing or not being in her mind or anything like that, what it seems like is that she got so caught up in her emotions that she was incapable of separating the truth from the false. Her brain was not allowing her to remember that James Charles has promoted her products in the past. And if she was able to remember that, then she wouldn't have gone on that initial Instagram live story where she was crying and sobbing about this, okay? But this video is mainly about you, you the viewers, okay? Because as I watch human behavior, I'm just blown away because like we're allowing other people to tell us how to think and feel about other people, okay? And I couldn't help but think of this story. So those of you who don't know, I'm half black. So my son, he is a quarter black. And he was about five or six years old. And it's not, race isn't something that we talked about much or you know anything like that. Like I don't even think at that point, like he really like understood that I'm half black, he's a quarter black because my dad is full black. But anyways, 
One of uh, my son's best friends was black and I can't remember, I can't remember the exact context, but it might have been like around Martin Luther King Day and they were doing some school project or, or something like that. And he was asking me about racism, okay? And I, I was talking to him, I said, okay, so listen, Dylan, um, one of his best friends was black and let's just call him Johnny. I was like, okay, you're, you're best friends with Johnny, right? He's like, yeah, I'm like, do you think Johnny's cool? He's like, yeah, he's like, do you think Johnny's nice? He's like, yeah. I'm like, do you think Johnny's family is nice? And he's like, yeah. Well, imagine a bunch of people who said Johnny and his family were awful human beings just because the color of their skin. Would you believe what they said? He's like, no, I know Johnny. And I'm like, exactly, all right? The point being, like, don't let other people tell you how to think or feel about a situation, right? So like, here's the thing, and I think it was unintentional on Tati's part, but she was upset at Gabriel Zamora for telling her how to feel about the betrayal of James Charles, right? But her words were telling other people how to feel about James Charles. You see what I mean? Now, again, I do not think that was intentional on Tati Westbrook's part, but as influencers, when we do commentary, when we, you know, expose somebody, we are pretty much telling you how to think or feel about a person. So the next thing I wanna talk about is the commentary community, the drama channels and everything out there, right? So we're all gonna screw up. We're all gonna screw up. Like I talked to a few um, fellow YouTubers who do commentary and stuff like that yesterday. And some people are, you know, it sucks because this story is taking so many twists and turns, right? And basically what I'll say is this, like I made one video when it first came out, when all of this started bubbling up, I think it might've been before Tati Westbrook's video, but I said something that James Charles didn't address was the the accusations of predatory behavior. So yeah, it was after his apology video. That's when it was. And and yeah, like I I mentioned it, but I tried to be fair in the situation because I when I was watching a lot of commentary channels and drama channels like when this first started going off, like a lot of people were neglecting the fact that both the situations, the confirmed situations with Gage and that waiter, Sam, were consensual. A lot of people were neglecting that. And, but Tati Westbrook created a narrative that James Charles tries to trick people into being gay, which we just found out with James Charles' video is not true, all right? Now, if it is true and there's just more information that we don't know, that's still up in the air. But what I'm getting at is I think we as YouTubers who do commentary or the drama channels or whatever it is, Above all else, we have more of a responsibility to be independent thinkers because I get it, I get it. Like I've screwed up, we've all screwed up. But what I'll do is sometimes I'll watch other channels to get filled in on stories and things like that and find out maybe parts that I'm missing before I form my own opinion and make a video about it and everything like that. But when I'm watching other people cover the story, I have to be cognizant of the fact that they might have been doing the same thing I am and they might have formed an opinion or a bias based on what they've been watching and based on what they've been researching. You see what I mean? So this can, this can cause an issue with us YouTubers covering these stories where we perpetuate a narrative. And a lot of people got caught up in that um, with with seeing what was happening and the hate mob and everything and perpetuating a narrative. But I do, I do um, admire some of the YouTubers out there who have like, you know, corrected themselves on Twitter and acknowledged this or taken down videos or whatever it is. Because at the end of the day, that's the most we can do. Like Philip DeFranco does a great job of that where he goes back and corrects himself or corrects a story that he might've got wrong. Um, and, and this is a dude who has like an entire team working with him, you know what I mean? So us, most of us, we're independent and stuff. But I just wanna remind all everybody out there, like it's important for us to sit back and form our own opinions on the situation and try to look at these situations as objectively as possible. Now, the last thing I'm gonna touch, about, touch on is everybody Everybody's waiting for this Jeffree Star exposed video. Everybody's waiting for this Jeffree Star exposed video. Here are my thoughts on that. Unless Jeffree Star comes out with video proof or some kind of receipts of James Charles confessing 
to criminal activities, like something he could be charged for, then I think Jeffree Star should just save it. Because here's the thing, what's Jeffree Star gonna do? Is he gonna expose James Charles for being a 19 year old egotistical dick? We already know that, all right? But the fact of the matter is, Jeffree Star is a dick too. And so if he's coming out to expose James and it's nothing illegal or criminal, we, we already got the memo. A lot of people in the beauty community are just a-holes, all right? So like this whole tit for tat and going back and forth, unless there is something where charges going to, are going to be brought up against James Charles, it's just ridiculous. So I will be covering the updates, but I want all of you out there to be independent thinkers because I can already picture it. Jeffree Star is gonna come out with an exposed video on James Charles and James Charles' numbers are gonna start dipping again. And then Jeffree Star's numbers are gonna start going up again. It's just absolutely madness. Just please be an independent thinker and help make this world a better place, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to support what I'm doing here on this channel and get your name in the credits, access to our monthly Q&A and some other perks and benefits, click or tap right there, all right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.